Sometimes I think the Democrats are trying to lose on purpose. This is from Fox News. Trump tops Biden with double-digit lead in deep red state, being targeted by Democrats, according to a new poll. We'll skip this little thing. Read that in your own time. Former President Donald Trump leads President Biden in the race for Texas. 40 electoral votes by double uh, his margin of victory in the Lone Star State four years ago, according to a new poll. Now, we all really expected Texas to be and pretty much stay red. The reason I think Democrats may be trying to lose on purpose is because they're dumping a bunch of money into a state that's losing and losing big time. The survey released Tuesday by Maris College also indicates uh, Senator Ted Cruz has a six-point advantage over his Democratic challenger, Rep. Colin Allred, in a key uh, Senate showdown as the GOP aims to regain the chamber's majority in November's elections. Trump carried Texas over Biden by roughly five and a half points in 2020, uh, which was the smallest margin of victory for a GOP, GOP presidential nominee in the deep red state in nearly a quarter century. But according to the Maris poll which was conducted March 8th through 21st the former president leads his successor by or in the White House by 11 points among registered voters but Trump's lead narrows to seven points among those who say they'll definitely cast a ballot in the November election independents who Biden carried by six percentage points in 2020 now break for Trump Trump receives 56 percent of Texas independents to 41 percent for Biden the release from Marist uh, inside or highlights uh, the poll also suggests Biden has lost his advantage among younger voters and that Trump has made major inroads among black and Latino voters and a lot of this is on the border and the economy in fact the economy is so bad that according to Breitbart News uh, Biden mostly retires the Biden nominee slogan after GOP hijacked it because Bidenomics is so bad the economy is so bad that Biden is trying to remove his name from the economy that he has so willfully and joyfully and gleefully created. President Joe Biden has reportedly used the Bidenomics slogan only three times in 2024 after Republicans successfully redefined it with a negative con connotation. They really didn't have to do much work for that, though, because all you have to do is look at the price of gas, groceries and housing to know that Biden is absolutely terrible on the economy. And it's another reason that Democrats are losing their shirts. Uh, in contrast, Biden reportedly used the term a hundred times in 2023. Biden's aides originally adopted the term for voters to readily identify Biden's economic policies and alleged successes, of which there are zero. But after data continued to show that prices rose and remained about 20% higher across the board under Biden's leadership, Republicans effectively hijacked a term, turning it into a slogan to depict Biden's failed economic policies. In March alone, Republicans used Bidenomics almost 500 times, Axios reported. Wednesday. In contrast, Democrats essentially ditched it. It's a shift that mounted to an acknowledgement uh, that the White House's messaging effort was falling flat with many voters, according to the outlet. The fact of the matter is, there's a whole lot more good news for Donald Trump and hopefully the rest of America than there is for Joe Biden. Of course, on the bright side for Joe, he has no idea what's going on. So he doesn't know that he's losing big time his race for the Senate, maybe? Has anyone told him? Anyone updated him? Is it on the teleprompter? Let me know what you think. Then head over to my locals page, thearthurnix.locals.com for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Till next time. Thanks for watching.